it's Dr. John Perlman, Beverly Hills Plastic Surgeon. A lot of patients ask me what to expect after various plastic surgical procedures, including breast enlargement and breast uplift uh, with implants, surgery. Um, it's a fair question. There are a lot of uh, rumors out there on the internet about their, the experience that one can expect, how painful it is. So I'd like to make it uh, pretty clear and give you my sense based on over 30 years of experience doing a lot of breast implants and breast enlargement surgeries. Basically, when one stretches a, a space, creates a pocket to place an implant, there's going to be discomfort. If you've already had the surgery and you're having a change of implant, it's actually relatively discomfort free. But to create a space to put an implant does cause some pain. And we try to uh, limit that by using numbing medicine solution at the end of the procedure. And very often uh, I recommend to patients putting in little pain pump catheters that lead to a device that gives them droplets of numbing medicine, similar to what the dentist would use uh, in his office to make your uh, dental experience easy. And I find with that, it takes away about 75% of the discomfort that's usually found after placement of breast implants. It's of major benefit. So the experience becomes much easier, but frankly, not pain-free, not discomfort-free. So for the first two nights, roughly, most people are quite tender and sore, which is probably a good thing because it forces you to limit your activities. That we want patients getting up out of bed and walking around, but not using their arms very strenuously. After those first two, one or two nights, uh, the tenderness is really you know, modest. The second week, it's very mild. And after the second week, most patients, not all, but most patients are free of pain or tenderness uh, whatsoever. I like to leave the pain pump catheters in for 24 or 48 hours, and they're very easy, and it's effortless to remove them. It's not uncomfortable at all. But it really makes the experience much, much easier. I also tell my patients to expect that they're going to look somewhat swollen and somewhat compressed or squished by the bandages initially. It takes about six weeks for the skin to relax and perhaps for the implants to settle uh, to give you a, a, a good example of the final shape and size uh, that your breasts will achieve. Um, I also recommend starting massage exercises within the first week to move the implant around. It actually makes, uh, makes the experience easier and uh, a sense of tightness is uh, taken care of or dissipated by the massage exercises, which also encourages the pocket or the capsule that's forming to stay open, giving a sense that the uh, breast implant in your breast is soft and more natural feeling. It increases the likelihood that you're going to get a really natural result and reduces the risk uh, of capsule contracture or hardening. Generally, after six or eight weeks, I tell my patients that they can resume normal activities and uh, upper body lifting. Uh, but for the first six weeks, I like to have patients be cautious uh, to avoid causing a tear in the muscle before it's had the opportunity to heal. A contusion or a little bleeding from the edge of the muscle while it's healing is one of the causes of stimulation of scar tissue or capsule contracture which both of us would like to avoid, of course. So I hope that gives you some sense of the experience that you can expect after breast augmentation surgery or breast uplift surgery with implants. But if you do have questions, please feel free to call our office at 310-854-0031 and visit my website, www.perlmanmd.com. Lots of information there and lots of before and after pictures in the photo gallery. I want your experience to be as straightforward and simple and pleasurable as possible. So uh, call us if you have any questions. Have a good day, and thank you very much for listening. I look forward to meeting you. Bye-bye.